Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the Executive Hire Show on the Innovation Trail with my friends from Trimmy. Second time I've seen you and innovating, Andrew. Andrew, this time it is about hybridization. My favorite thing, battery powers here, lots and lots of lithium power, but we've seen on site that people want a hybridized solution that's got a generator for the winter time, lithium and solar, and look what we've got here. This is all here, isn't it? Exactly that, Peter. We've been doing it for a number of years, okay? Yep. We've been doing it in a lighting application, yep. but all we're doing is expanding what we've been doing already in Europe with the Trimmy Group. So in the Netherlands, we've been supplying this type of product for three years already. So it's okay. an existing product. So it's not a guinea pig scenario. It's something that we've already had in the marketplace. We've got feedback, we've learned from it, and we're bringing that to the market now today. So what is the footprint we've got here and what is the capacity as such of this unit? How does it all come together? Okay, what we've got here in a one box solution is a 24 kVA generator, 30 kilowatt of battery storage. Right. Now, what that does is bring a small footprint. So from a higher risk perspective, if it's not out on hire, which hopefully it will be, yep. it's taking up a very small amount of footprint in the yard. Right. When you come for transport, again, you've got a smaller footprint compared to a traditional generator and a battery energy storage solution. So you've got two separate boxes, possibly three with distribution, possibly right. four if you've got solar panels. Right. So in terms of transportation, you've got a smaller footprint to move things from site to site. And finally, for the end user, you've got a smaller footprint. So if you are in a compromised situation in a compound, you've got everything in a one-stop solution. So it's literally drop me, plug and play, and you're away. Right, we're gonna go round, folks, but first, before we do, there's the control panel. The, the other piece of this puzzle here is the generator as well, isn't it? So, you know, it's, it's a smaller unit than you would expect because you've got that extra add-on. So it's that hybridization, isn't it? It is, but we also have a range that goes up to 45 kVA. Oh, right. okay. 45 kVA. But what you've got there is an oversized alternator onto a stage five unit. Right. But what you've got is when the unit recharges, it's always recharging the batteries at 75% load. So you're getting away from the problems that the industry is having with light loading and yes. underloading. So yeah. we hear lots of, of horror stories where things have to be reprogrammed, DPFs and all the rest of it. Okay, this model doesn't have a DPF, but all the time engines and diesel engines need to have that amount of load. So in terms of negating problems down the line, from looking after the whole life of the product, then certainly you've got a product which is looked after so the engine management side of it should help the engineers. And also, of course, from a higher perspective, because you're in the battery scenario, the engine isn't running so much. Your yeah. operating and running costs are reduced because you're not servicing the units as often on site. So you're not disrupting people when they're operating. So there's a, there's a win win for people on that way as well. And the way I see about this, folks, is what you're doing is you're optimizing the performance of this generator by then charging those battery units. So you're not, you know, that load factor, that loading factor of the engine, the best possible way in which that can operate sure. to, to, to work with both. And of course, then, folks, when you've got the engine capacity, you put the batteries in, then you can actually service those, those needs that are probably, you know, only ever 90 90 percent of the time you're running normally but you know that 10 percent or five percent adds in doesn't it but critical to that as well is all the components are in there they're all talking to each other they're all managed yeah. yeah we see many or get feedback on many scenarios where you've got a generator battery energy storage and one doesn't talk to the other so yeah. the end the generators are running yeah disposing of the fuel because one hasn't told the other one i'm full of power turn off so next thing, the end users are incur incurring extra cost for fuel yep. they don't need. Whereas all this is managed, and also from a management point of view, you get one printout on the analysis of all the CO2 savings, right. the fuel savings. It's one report. You haven't got to get a report from a generator, and you haven't got to get a report from the, the battery energy storage. It's all one report so that that can be put on to the end user to give total transparency of the benefits that they receive. And I'm guessing that this is a connected asset. So this can talk to the outside world and give it information about its health, but also that information about carbon on an ongoing basis. Well, you've won the prize of the good guess, sir. That's a good guess. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. The telemetry and everything else is available. So that can be looked at from a, a user, from a mobile phone, from a laptop, yep. or obviously on the front of the machine. So everything is there that makes everybody transparent of exactly where they are. So they can look at, all, like I said, all that data, which from the end client 
is important as we yeah. as we look at this the you know, we're on a sustainable trail yeah, yeah yeah that's exactly what this gives him a trail of sustainability so everybody can see exactly what is in front of them and this folks is why this is my second interview with Trimmy on the innovation trail I've been doing for a number of years now and it's great to see you guys keeping innovating nice one cheers see, see you next year there'll always be something <laughs> there'll always be something watch this space cheers